Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the US markets on Tuesday, the 19th July 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signaler, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can certainly uh, download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, US market analysis, let's uh, review. Uh, US markets yesterday finished a week on the back of Netflix earnings and Yahoo earnings, certainly weaker than expected. Okay. We've obviously had the uh, potential terrorist incident in Germany as well. That certainly hurt uh, the uh, the actual uh, bias and sentiment in the markets. Uh, Asian markets overnight, you've had the Nikkei resilient up 1.3%. Uh, the Hang Seng and the Nikkei certainly weaker. Now, talking about the uh, the Nikkei, let's bring up the Nikkei chart itself. You can see the diagonal trend line certainly is coming into play. If the market continues to leap and move higher, then you are looking at, and, and certainly Nikkei has been helped by the uh, Pokemon craze via Nintendo, certainly seems to be helping. Okay, so we certainly have closed that gap, okay, and certainly pushed even higher. The next potential gap fill is 19 or around 17,000. And you do have gap fill at 16,824 as well. So watch out for those two uh, zones of uh, resistance, okay, on the uh, the actual Nikkei itself. So again, coming into potential risk uh, resistance and indicating risk off uh, attitude, okay. Uh, now, the Shanghai certainly remains weak as well. In terms of economic data today, we certainly have had weak economic data. ZEW is certainly coming out weaker than expected. The UK inflation is slightly higher than expected. Therefore, obviously, you're reducing the chances of a potential rate cut in the UK. Again, net net negative there. Eurozone construction as well. And sentiment, uh, economic sentiment certainly coming out weaker. So European data certainly weaker. Uh, uh, US earnings certainly weaker as well to a large extent. And therefore, you are looking at a risk off tone. Uh, now, the Nasdaq certainly will be pro probably the most hit out of all the indices, given the fact that Netflix and Yahoo certainly have failed. Uh, the 60-minute chart certainly does tell you that you have unfilled gaps at 4.565 and 4.55, so those two gaps certainly will be coming into play. Uh, certainly a double-top scenario has been confirmed, with Netflix obviously uh, confirming that. The next potential support is seen at 4.605. If that fails, and you've seen gap fill. Gap fill really is probably the, uh, the first support of call is at 4.590. Once we close that gap, then you do have uh, previous resistance equals support, horizontal support at 4580, and then obviously gap fill at 4565. So watch out for that, that's a level below, and therefore looking for weaker price action, okay? In terms of the uh, the actual uh, uh, S&P 500 as well, let's just bring up the S&P 500 for you folks. You clearly see that we certainly made a pivot high yesterday. You're looking at gap fill below at 2150. That would certainly be the most sensible way to go. Alternatively, you do have support at 21.552. If uh, 21.52 gap fill fails, then you are looking at 21.45, and then you have gap fill below at 21.37. So keep an eye on those potential zones. 60-minute chart, clearly double top scenario. And again, like I said, 21.52 to 21.37 are the two gaps below. Okay. Daily chart, the S&P 500. Again, any sell-off would obviously uh, come back into that previous resistance equal support, which is at 21. 2135 okay so watch out for 2135 okay in terms of the s p 500 okay let's just cross reference that with the russell let's bring up the russell for you okay so russell at present uh, clearly has a potential h s formation here okay so you can see here left shoulder head and obviously the right shoulder going in now i'm looking for a flush or a move lower okay and then obviously we have a flush lower down to gap fill gap fill is seen at 118 okay so that's a zone that we uh, look at in terms of the market itself uh, looking for that gap to close at 118 okay folks so keep an eye on 118 for gap fill okay so in terms of the russell 2000 uh 60 minute chart certainly exhausted again going to gap fill at 118 so looking for that risk off trade okay so risk aversion certainly in full steam ahead in terms of the u.s markets led by obviously netflix and yahoo to a large extent in terms of looking at the vix the vix obviously has been flushed to new lows as you can see here now again it'll be interesting to see if the vix can revive itself and start to reverse any reversal on the vix will be into gap fill resistance here this is a level that we'll be looking at in terms of the markets so looking at gap fill on the vix and therefore keeping a uh, Certainly keeping a down, down the pressure on the uh, the US markets as well to a large extent, okay? In terms of the market, in terms of uh, the USDJPY, we all know the market has been led by the yen, 
Okay, and again, we are coming into previous support equals resistance, therefore indicating weakness on the uh, stock market. So if you see weakness here, then you are going to see weakness in the uh, US equity market too, and also the Japanese Nikkei. Okay, emerging market, certainly impressive so far. Okay, certainly impressive, quite an impressive thrust. You are seeing next resistance zones here and here. So again, emerging markets coming into resistance as well. Okay, it looks look bring bring up the commodities chart again. You have oil languishing at those lows. Okay, given the fact that you've had weaker European data, you can certainly see the, um, the floodgates open here, and a potential uh, new low can certainly be uh, conceived. So again, certainly be uh, open-minded and certainly observe the next potential support zone below in terms of oil. Although having said that, with the Turkish coup. Uh, threat and French uh, French terrorism threat as well. So oil can certainly remain well be okay. Let's have a look at the chart of copper as well. See if we can gauge any real direction from copper. Copper is certainly coming into resistance after hitting that double top there. You can certainly see you're looking for a low high, and we are now into resistance and therefore indicating weakness on the uh, equity market as well. Okay. That seems to be the summation. Now the dollar index at the moment, US dollar index certainly looking like it wants to break out. Quite an impressive move here on the daily chart, the dollar index. So again, that fear concept certainly is kicking in. Okay, especially with the miss of earnings, etc. So again, certainly take that into consideration. Now we do have US economic data out today. We have housing data. So again, if that comes in strong, red book and building permits, that comes in strong, you can certainly see the dollar index moving higher. Okay, I think that's a good summation now of US markets. Again, watch out for potential gap fill below. Uh, looking for the S&P to close at 2152 zone. And then we'll see or assess where the bias lies. Okay, uh, wish you the well uh, in your trading day. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Goodbye now.